Welcome to Brainstorm MTG. I'm ELD and this is Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. We've got some legacy here from Scholars Games, the finals of our Dual Land tournament, and Elliot on a multi five leading out on the play versus Black Red Reanimator here with Goblin Lackey. Will it be enough? That is unlikely. Josh is going to have any blockers on turn one, and if he does have a blocker, uh, it'll do a lot more damage than just stopping Lackey. Everything in Josh's deck, very dangerous against Goblins. Uh, but it looks like the coast is clear, and Lackey is going to put in something, and it's Goblin Matron. A lot of choices here. Let me know what you'd get in the comments. I think uh, Kiki Jiki, Siege Gang Commander, another Matron, a lot of different possibilities here. Really uh, depends on the type of game that Elliot's expecting. Another card to consider is Sting Scourger. That's probably... Elliot's best out versus some of Josh's most dangerous situations. Uh, for just one and a red, it's going to return an opposing creature uh, to Josh's hand. And that could be very good. Let's see where he goes from here. Probably, there we go, uh, Kiki Jiki. Uh, very tempting to get something with a high mana cost. Really get maximum value out of that lackey. Uh, so we've got a Kiki Jiki being threatened for next turn. And Wasteland comes down up against Josh's fetch land. So it is safe for now. And a fetch. Grabbing. Badlands and a basic swamp. Badlands may not be around for long here. We'll see where this goes. Unmask. Pitching Cabal Therapy. And he's actually targeting himself, grabbing... Oh, Elish Norn. That is one of the absolute best cards versus Goblins here. This is going to be value no matter what. Even if he finds Sting Scourger, Lackey and Matron are down and a clock has been established. We'll see what Elliot's able to do with his Pendlehaven. That is not going to save any of his Goblins from the minus two, minus two effect of Elish Norn. Of course, any other creatures entering on Josh's side are going to get a pump. Uh, but that is likely overkill. Elishnorn almost certainly going to be able to take it down just on its own. Uh, of course, that is legendary. I'm not sure if Elliot has any type of access to Caracas. Uh, but actually, Exhum is going to close the deal out. So Josh, with a quick game one win there, up a game heading into game two. Here he'll be on the draw. Taking a look at the deck list here. This was live streamed to Brainstorm MTG over on Twitch. Uh, we actually live stream all of our events uh, anytime that I'm there. Uh, and Brainstorm is a playable card. I'll go ahead and stream that live. And then, of course, do these edits here uh, with the commentary at double speed for everybody who would like some faster legacy in their life. Josh taking a look through. Not a whole lot really terrible versus Elliot in his deck. It's pretty well equipped uh, to beat Goblins uh, without the sideboard. Elliot on the other side is going to need some type of uh, hate cards. Uh, cards like Graph Digger's Cage, very, very uh, useful in this type of matchup. Surgical Extraction. We'll see what he has. Uh, there are a lot of options in the Colorless Realm uh, in Legacy. Uh, Tormod's Crypt. Nile Spellbomb, Relic of Progenitus, so many options uh, to hate out on the graveyard. It uh, really depends on the type of deck that you're playing. Leyline of the Void, not played nearly as much as it has been in the past. I have seen some Goblin lists running white uh, specifically to try and hedge their bets versus exactly these type of decks. That gives them access to Caracas and Containment Priest and uh, sometimes uh, cards like Thalia or Aether Sworn Canonist. Uh, Elliot has gone in the other direction here with the Green Splash, uh, which I've actually run as well in recent months. Uh, and that does give you access to Pendlehaven, as well as a few other niche sideboard cards. I'm a fan of Tin Street Hooligan as well, now that uh, Goblin Warchief is not in the deck. Uh, that really didn't have great synergy. Uh, Warchief really pushing the deck in the other direction. 
uh, seeing as how it made it cost one less, which means you can't pay your green to get your destroying artifact trigger. Uh, Josh is mulling here. So that is good news for Elliot. He is going to need to find a way uh, to hold serve here, uh, being on the play. Last time, lackey, not enough. See if he can have an early lackey or instigator. That's almost certainly going to be part of the a winning strategy for goblins here. Reanimator not really able to put up much in the way of speed bumps to those early threats. Generally just a 90-ton Reich back uh, with a gristle brand or creature that is way too big to be in a fight with a 1-1 uh, a lackey. Does not well end well for any goblins in general when Josh starts reanimating his threats. Uh, but here we go. Elliot mulling, showing some discipline, found a hand with Lackey. We'll see what he's able to do with it. Josh. Oh, passing. Oh, no. He doesn't have any lands. So... Did not notice that. So no lands, perhaps, here for Josh, hoping to draw a land. And Matron pre-combat. Well, Josh with an extremely dangerous keep here and punished for it superbly. Elliot's going to be able to find... I mean, Kiki Jiki, Siege Gang Commander, something really punishing that's going to set a real clock. Yeah, this is hugely problematic. For Josh here, this is, this is no bueno. Siege Gang. And there we go. Coming in, reading Siege Gang. And one thing that may not be immediately apparent is Gristlebrand no longer the same type of out. Uh, once you're facing down a Siege Gang, Josh, I'm sorry, Elliot would be able to sacrifice any goblin blocked by Gristlebrand uh, to Siege Gang, really hampering that lifelink. So it's pretty much Elish Norner bust at this point. Bristlebrand not likely to uh, to be able to stabilize against this. He'd have to essentially get another guy into play. Yeah, this is very, very bad for Josh. He's like one turn away from death. Kiki Jiki, yeah, it's one turn away here. Kiki Jiki can copy the Siege Gang. Putting a ton of extra tokens into play. And another Lackey gets played along with Chalice at one. See you later. That is That has got to be it right there. So Elliot picking up game two off of a very suspect keep there for Josh. The deck a little land light anyways. I've got to guess he's probably, you know, around a 30% chance of drawing a land there. We're going into game three. A bold, bold strategy in the finals here. Keep that no lander. See if it pays off here in the finals here. He's going to be on on the play. May have felt like that was the best strategy. He drew a land. Probably would have been commenting a little differently about it. So see what's able to happen here. Goblin's really not favored on the draw here. Reanimator can get a lot of stuff down underneath the shields. Graft Digger's Cage can do a lot of work, but again, you need to have a turn in order to actually get that card down. And Chancellor of the Annex, the type of card that can make Graft Digger's Cage even slower. Looks like a Grim Lava Mancer in his sideboard. I gotta feel like that's actually pretty reasonable here. Uh, perhaps he's only bringing it in against the Deathrite Shaman decks. But it would be an additional blocker for Lackey. Could also remove any type of hate bears that Elliot might have. Uh, but he has seen the deck list, so... Operating on more information than I have. Going in blind, I would be a little concerned about goblins having access to some other type of hate bear. Something like Cathalia or a Containment Priest. Alright. Animator on the play here. Yeah, 
and goblins mulliganing. Elliot has had some discipline with his hands, trying to draw into hands that are really in range for him, in that keepable range, uh, instead of just hoping to live off the top of the deck. And it's served him well so far. He has made it to the finals here. And going down to five, that is going to be really tough for him. Five cards. Most certainly going to need Lackey or some dedicated graveyard hate to have any type of chance here. Maybe a first turn Warren Instigator, just something along those lines. Josh, no Chancellor, so Elliot is going to be able to proceed with his game plan. Largely unimpeded here. Bad lands for Josh. See some Faithless looting, some animate effects. Card toward the back of his hand, not sure what that is. Looks like it's a white card, so probably reanimation target. Like some Faithless Lootings. One of the bin, Lotus Petal and Passing. Cavern of Souls. Chrome Mox. Like Tuck Tuck Scrapper and Warren Instigator. All right, well, hey, that's, that's definitely something. Not a lot of cards left for Elliot to work with. We'll see what Josh is able to do here. And a fetch for a basic swamp. Unmask, pitching, animate, dead. And surgical and kiki jiki. So he clears the surgical. He's able to entomb. Uh, and he actually chooses Iona here. And animate dead Iona. So Elliot will not be casting any more spells here. Both players hellbent. Uh, looks like Josh can just sit back on this Iona. He's seen the deck list. Oh, but he's actually choosing to swing. If he sat back on it, I don't know if Elliot could have gotten out of this. And instead, a War Instigator and Kiki Jiki. There's a lot of potential damage here. Now, this Iona's only hitting for six. Kiki Jiki can make copies of War Instigator. During the end step here. So Elliot still has two swings left. Unmask hitting Cabal Therapy. During the end step, he makes a copy. Six damage coming in, puts in another Warren Instigator. Elliot can crack back for 10 here. This has really gotten out of hand super fast. Chrome Mox blown up by uh, Wax from Wax Wayne. So we got another copy, and that is it. Wow. So Elliot manages to win through that Iona. Unbelievable finish uh, to this month's Dual Land tournament. Congratulations, Elliot. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please help grow the channel by subscribing. You'll be notified when we upload new videos like Fast Effect, Double Speed Magic with Commentary, or Untapped, our raw tournament gameplay. Thanks for watching.